there's an extremely easy way to actually make numbered equations like this in Word, just the way like LaTeX does. And when you have multiple equations, if you rearrange the orders, the numbering will also automatically update, etc. Now in this series, we have created a lot of videos to show you how to type mathematics and equations really efficiently and quickly using various keyboard shortcuts and shorthands. And we have also discussed a couple of ways to already create these equations by using auto text and building blocks and field codes. For example, if I do this with my shortcuts, I can call out a template of various equations as you see the numbers automatically update. But those aside, there's actually an even quicker way, which I'll show you over here, and also at the end of it, explain a little bit why I personally don't use this as much. However, I think that a lot of you will actually find this very, very useful. So the first thing is actually to call up an equation environment like this, and the long way is to go to the Insert tab and click in Equation. Uh, however, you can also set up a shortcut like I've shown in previous videos. If you haven't seen the how to set up this shortcut yet, feel free to check that out in the links in the description below. After you have called out your equation environment, now you can first type whatever equation you want to type, like that, and then maybe give it a space, and then type hashtag and anything you want after that, for example, uh, brackets like this, and then hit return. As you can see, it will cause anything that you type after the hashtag all the way to write justified and immediately you have this little template. The only thing next is we need to type in a number. But just to demonstrate that again, what that hashtag features does, let me undo and just type some random things over here. And as you can see, after the hashtag, if you hit return, it automatically sends whatever after the hashtag all the way to the right without needing to create tab stops like we did before. So let me undo back to where we have the brackets. So after the hashtag and hit enter like that. Now, uh, you also need a number over here, but of course, if you just type, for example, two like this, that's not good because that's just pure text as a number and that, that number does not automatically update as you make the next equation. And when you have a whole document of equations, if you rearrange the equation sequences, then it will not automatically update. So we will still need to leverage field codes over here. And if you don't know how field codes work, check out again the link in the description below on that video where I describe in more detail how does field codes work and the long way and short way of making that. But here I'll just do the quick way. So use command function F9 type in sequence uh, seq and your index of that uh, sequence that you want. I call that equation and then just shift F9 or F9 to just update that. So now the next time you type a second equation, for example, like this, I call up my equation environment and let's type something more complicated. Like that, as you can see, the new equation will automatically have the new numbering. And then if I just highlight this and then move this, let's say, all the way to the beginning, and then you can do everything you can do with field codes, as I've shown in the previous video. For example, just F9 like this, and you see all the numberings will automatically update if you rearrange your equations in the document. Okay, as you can see, that is really it. That is very simple and very quick way, and uh, you don't need to create the templates with tab stops and everything. Now, just one more extra tip. It still takes a little while to create the, to type up this template. So if you want to be really more efficient, Efficient, what you want to do is to make a shortcut with. So just type in something here first and then uh, set up your template with return like this and put in your field codes. Now remove your placeholder and now you have your general template like this. Now you can highlight your blank template and go in the standard procedure of go to insert auto text, give this a name which I've already done, call it equation version six hash like that. For you, you will click add and I'll just escape out of it. If you want more details of this procedure, check out the video in the link below about how to create auto text and set up a short keyboard shortcut for that. Then every time I type command equals six like that, you see that I can bring up this template and I just need to use my arrow keys. If you look at the keyboard and navigate my way back to the center and I can type anything new like this. Okay, so I think that a lot of you will find this very helpful in your workflow. And the reason that I did not present this method earlier in the series is really because I have only learned the method after the first couple of videos. And I do really like it except for one fact. If I call out my old templates, for example, the equation version 2 one, you see that the numberings over here are actually in Times New Roman, which is usually how I like my document fonts. And personally, or maybe it's just that I have got used to it so much, I prefer having the equation numbering in the Times New Roman fonts rather than the Cambria math font that is default for inside the equation environment. There is another potential pro for using this newer method is that if you type any larger expressions, for example, like a fraction like this or a matrix,
you see that it displays it in a display mode. And instead of, let me just copy this for comparison into the other templates, you see that this actually shrinks these fractions a little bit into a inline mode. Now, this is probably a little bit of personal preference. I know that display mode is designed for a purpose. However, in some ways, I kind of like this little shrinked uh, version a little bit more. So for that reason, the old template is still a little bit more efficient for my workflow. Another reason is I have also created templates for aligned equations like this. Now, there is actually another method, which is using a built-in way to create aligned equal signs of equations like this. And that can be the topic of the next video. However, that comes with its own pros and cons as well. But the main point is I prefer to have this template when I want to align the equal signs in my document. So it automatically comes with the Times New Roman fonts already, and it will be a little bit inconsistent if I use these over here. Of course, if consistency is your only concern, you can change all of these numbers into a Cambria math font, and they will all be consistent. However, like I said, really the main point is I kind of like having the Times New Roman font here. So that's the main reason why I still prefer the earlier methods that I've described in this series. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this video and hope you have found this useful. If you do, please hit the like button below, click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you get notified with new videos when they are posted. These will all really help support this channel to create more video tips like this to help you type maths and equations really efficiently in Microsoft Word. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.